Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about Netron. Ta -da! A Netron is an application that can show you a network in a machine learning network. So if we look at the specific GitHub rep uh, repository here where we have Netron, you can build this. It says that it can open a bunch of different formats and show some kind of detailed information about your network. And you can install this either directly in iOS, in Linux, or by Winget in Windows. There is a browser version, so you can go directly to that. And you can also uh, run it with pip, a uh, pip ser uh, Python server. And I had downloaded it and just ran it locally with uh, Maven. No, no, with uh, NPM. So you just start it with NPM. Uh, so if we switch over to my uh, console here, you see that you can run, I ran npm install and then I tried to run npm start, it didn't start. I ran npm run server and that started a server so I could actually look at it in the web GUI. But if I just copy pasted this mpx electron um, dot and then it will start this actual electron um, GUI. And if I open a very simple uh, layout here, you see that you have a fully connected network, fully connected network, and then a fully connected network, and you get some inputs and outputs. And it is a NIST uh, network, so it takes an image that is 28 times 28 up here, and then goes through these different weights and end up in 10 different results. And then this is just figure out digits. Very simple and normal network works pretty well. Uh, so showing that kind of information could be really useful and could be something that you can visualize easily. I had a similar one where I did some networking against some images. This might be a broken network in some case, but you see here that I have an image that is 244, uh, to, uh, 244, 244, uh, times three in here serving some kind of input. I have a server file name and this network is very strange. It's it's not really showing me what's going on here and I can't really figure out what, what this is all about. Um, so this network was strange. But that's the only thing I can say. So some of the data that you are showing here might look a bit strange and hard to read. And if we have something that I downloaded, so this is a network that was available online. And you see here, it starts pretty simple with some image that is 800 times 600. And then you pad it a bit, transpose and so on. And you do a bunch of different operations. And then we see here that it splits up a bit and it gets pretty hard to follow when there is so many operations in a flow here but you could follow it and I have seen these kind of models that are so huge that you have like 1600 branching structures and so on it's a huge tree and it's not really anything that you can follow so this application seems to be pretty good at displaying simpler networks and simpler structures but when you come up to something that is more involved and has different iterations on your machine learning models then it, they, this can be a very hard model to read so perhaps they could do a similar that you have in the dashboard of tensorflow that you have these larger units that you then, then could zoom into and see more information. That is more readable. TensorFlow dashboard can't really review all these different kind of models either. Uh, anyway, uh, it's very limited in what it can show, but some of the ideas it uses could re be really benefiting uh, this project. So I think this was an interesting little tool that uh, you could use in order to show your models. Uh, if you are running a bunch of different machine learning models today and want something to look in, look at them, this could be the tool for you. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have a bunch of different machine learning models and have used this tool, 
leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.